Hello friends, in this video we are going to understand about the type of stomata. So first of all, what is a stomatal complex? Stomatal complex is composed of stoma, that is the pore, as well as the adjacent cells, like guard cells or subsidiary cells, right? Stomatal complex can be distinct taxonomically and developmentally. And different species exhibit presence of a fixed number of uh, cells and even the arrangement of these cells is fixed around the stoma. So each pore is surrounded by some cells. The number of those cells can be fixed. Let us also know about the you know terminology that we will be using. Uh, what is a pavement cell? The pavement cell is a general epidermal cell type which possesses thick cuticle and are lobed and interdigitated in the plane of the epidermis to create a water and gas impermeable barrier. So here you are seeing some pavement cells which are uh, having thick cuticles and they are interdigitating and they create a water and gas impermeable barrier. Now second thing that uh, the term we should know is guard cell. Guard cells are the specialized epidermal cells formed in functional pair through a single symmetric division of a guard mother cell. Okay, so the two cells surrounding any pore or any stoma are the guard cells. These are very specialized cells. And a pair of guard cells can regulate gas and water exchange by controlling the aperture of the stomatal pore that they surround. So they control the uh, gas and water exchange by controlling the pore size that they surround. Now what are subsidiary cells? Subsidiary cells are the accessory cells which assist the functioning of guard cells. They are involved in ion channel mediated opening and closing of guard cells. So they help in opening and closing of guard cells and uh, they are involved in prevention of water loss from stoma as well. Okay. So now you are clear about what are pavement cells, general epidermal cells, what are guard cells, cells as you know surrounding the pore and sub subsidiary cells, cells surrounding uh, to the guard cells or accessory to the uh, guard cells, right? Which also facilitate the functioning of the guard cells or they control the function, uh, they you know somehow support the uh, play accessory function of the to the guard cells. Now let us discuss uh, different types of uh, uh, stomatal complexes. Now we are clear with the terminology of uh, these cells. So you will, it will be clear and easy for you to understand what are different types of stomatal complexes. Depending on the number and arrangement of the surrounding cells, subsidiary cells, they are, uh, can be of different types. So one by one we will understand about them. So this uh, figure I have taken from uh, an article which explains different kinds of uh, uh, stomatal types. So here you are seeing a actinocytic stomata where a single uh, ring of uh, five or more cells are uh, you know which are enlarged and elongated as compared to the surrounding cells as compared to the guard cells. So when a guard cell is surrounded by a ring of five or more cells which are enlarge as compared to the guard cells this kind of an arrangement of stomatal complex is known as actinocytic actinocytic now second type is anisocytic anisocytic means dissimilar so now two guard cells are surrounded by three cells which are unequal in size okay enclosing the guard cells right so anisocytic not similar cells are surrounding the guard cells anomocytic anomocytic means no specialized cell is surrounding the uh, two guard cells. These cells surrounding the guard cells are similar to the other epiderm epidermal cells or other pavement cells. But five or more cells are enclosing guard cells which are not differentiating or not differentiated in any way from the normal epidermal cells. So, anomocytic. So, two guard cells surrounded by five or more cells which are not different than other epidermal cells. Now, desmocytic. Other type is desmocytic. A single, uh, you know, uh, cell is surrounding two guard cells. Single subsidiary cell is surrounding guard cells. 
and this single cell is uh, you know a cell wall is extending uh, at the one of the poles cutting the cell just once okay so this is the desmocytic one cell enclosing both the guard cells with one division or anticlinal wall extending just from the one and cutting the cell once so this kind of uh, arrangement is known as stomatal type is known as desmocytic now diacytic dia means two so two cells are surrounding uh, the two guard cells one cell two cell these two cells are enclosing the guard cells but they are present at the right angle so the longer axis of these surrounding cells is at the per perpendicular with that of the longer axis of the guard cells okay so two cells enclosing the guard cells at right angles to the long axis of the guard cells so this kind of an arrangement is known as diacytic now and cyclocytic type and cyclocytic type means a uh, single ring of five or more cells enclosing the guard cells but these cells are smaller than the guard cells okay so here in actinocytic the surrounding cells subsidiary cells were longer than the guard cells but here five or more cells are surrounding which are smaller than the guard cells so this kind of an arrangement is known as n cyclocytic now another uh, example or another type of uh, stomatal uh, complex is hemiparasitic hemiparasitic means one of the adjacent cells to the guard cell and is enclosing uh, one guard cells while this uh, the longer axis of both the cells guard cell as well as the surrounding cell are parallel to each other and the other guard cell is having is surrounded by the three or more normal epidermal cells surrounding it so only one specialized subsidiary cell is there surrounding the enclosing one guard cell while other guard cell is not uh, encircled or surrounded by the, any specialized subsidiary cell while it is uh, rather it is you know surrounded by normal epidermal cells three or four normal epidermal cells now let's discuss some more types laterocytic laterocytic means stomata flanked by three or more subsidiary cells all bordering on the lateral side of the guard cells okay so these lateral sides are of the guard cells are surrounded by the uh, different stomata three or more uh, subsidiary cells now parasitic parasitic means two side two subsidiary cells uh, uh, each enclosing one of the guard cells are present in uh, such a way that their longer axis longer axis of the subsidiary cells is parallel to that of the longer axis of the guard cells okay so one or two adjacent to the guard cells with their long axis parallel to the long axis of the guard cell is known as parasitic arrangement now pericytic pericytic means only one cell is enclosing both the guard cells okay only one cell pericytic polocytic polocytic means one cell nearly but not completely enclosing both the guard cells so you see only a portion of the guard cells is not enclosed by this uh, polocytic arrangement uh, subsidiary cell in the polocytic arrangement so it's a kind of uh, pericytic partial pericytic is will be can be called as polocytic okay and the longer axis again the perpendicular to the longer axis of the guard cells now staurocytic staurocytic means four cells more or less equal in size all the four cells are equal in size with the anticlinal walls anticlinal walls of subsidiary cells extending at the right angles so these are the anticlinal divisions which are extending to the right angle of the long axis of the guard cells okay so four cells four cells more or less equal in size with the anticlinal walls of the subsidiary cells extending at the right angles from the poles and the middle of the guard cells okay so uh, these are the middle of the guard cell and these are pole of the guard cells so anticlinal division are uh, at per perpendicular to each other and now uh, at one of the division is at the poles and one of the division is at just right angle to the previous one now stephanocytic stephanocytic arrangement is stomata is surrounded by four usually five to seven cells weakly differentiated subsidiary cells forming a more or less distinct rosette kind of arrangement intermediate between 
n cyclo and actino uh, arrangement types we can say n cyclo and actino kind of and subsidiary cells form a more broad and less clear ring and less elongated okay so the ring is not very clear so that's why these are called stephanocytic and now comes the tetracytic arrangement of the stem stomatal type tetracytic means four cells adjacent uh, to end enclosing the guard cells okay now you see the divisions anticlinal divisions are not very regular like uh, in case of sorocytic but there are four cells uh, adjacent to and enclosing the guard cells and divisions are not perpendicular to each other so i hope uh, this could uh, make the concept of different types of stomatal complex clear to you guys thank you thank you for watching this video and coming to my channel please do like share subscribe this video and do not forget to press the bell icon for more updates thank you